So what I'd like to discuss now is an overview of the uh, consciousness, the science of consciousness, specifically as it applies to uh, training in meditation and the phases of development for remote viewing and doing the coherent thought sequencing. So that you have a very clear understanding of it. Before we do the puja, what is that orange, orange, orange object? Look how beautiful. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa just don't, don't, don't pop too up, much. Please. Crouch down and look because you'll block our cameras. Wow. Those behind me may move and stand up. Cause... Okay, that, you see that color? No, no. Oh, no. No, that's, that's so a ship. So let's thank them for coming. Wow, and it's above the sea so please level. Please turn off your night scope, Charles. Off. Someone's infrared or whatever. Yeah, that's Charles. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, here they come. There are two. Whoever's right in the front, if you can kind of just... Stay low, because your low. head is right. You can get on your knees in front yeah. of you. Look at this, how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm looking with the night scopes. There's no smoke, there's no trails. These are not flares. And... Oh my okay, goodness. Okay, let's welcome them here. Oh, they're so they're, beautiful. They, they were waiting for us to arrive. Whoa. Jacques, please photograph. Yeah. All oh, yeah. cameras should be... Filming. So connect to them in your consciousness and invite them here. These are the golden ones I talked about. See how gold? Yeah. Are because the horizon is only seven to ten miles, then on the conditions. So it's probably a couple miles. Everybody wow. see them? Yeah. yeah. They're so beautiful. Let's welcome their uh, beings on board to join us in meditation. That is such a beautiful color. So you'll never forget that color. This is huge. Yeah, this is a major wow. event. So this we are grateful. So open your heart chakra and send them the beauty of humanity. And if you uh, can see what I'm doing, you connect with your palms out like this and your third eye and your heart making like a tetrahedron radiating our pureness and love towards them. They emerge from the sky, but they're very, very close to the ocean. They're just hovering. They're not... Um, whoever's just right in front of the yellow kind of blue jacket, your head's... No, no, yeah, you just kind of went to go down. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm going to move. We should be filming. I am filming, but I'm just trying to avoid... Those in front, if you can get on your knees or sit on the ground and look in front of your chairs, but stay low. Thank you. Gonna reposition. You need a higher tripod. No, I, I can bring it high. I just don't want to. Well, don't wait. We're gonna lose it. Just yeah. Stay. Yeah, just yeah, keep yeah. with it. It's not a time for that. Okay, that's clear air. It just sort of vanished. The one on the right. They've stayed pretty much the same altitude, though. Wow. Let's invite them to come as close as they can. Safely. I need a time mark. Cam, time? 9.15. 9.15, so the mark time. 9.15. 9.15. Oh, that's gone into the ocean. See what it did? Okay, there is still an object there. Very faint, I can see with the night scope. Right here. Yeah, that's where... Uh... Now the way that you know that that's uh, not like something like a flare, first of all there's no, it didn't shoot up and then come down and didn't drop. On the, and the first thing that has to be understood is the nature of awareness. So awareness is, as you're all listening to my voice, take a, just a moment to watch yourself listening. So as I'm speaking, just look at how it is that you're awake 
listening and hearing my voice. What is that? You're conscious. You're awake. Okay, now subtract my voice, what you're seeing with your eyes, your thoughts, your perception of your body, your perception of your ego, your individuality. There's still awareness there. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's very zen. <laughs> so you're awake, and it's really about becoming aware of awareness. Aircraft on there. Not far, because the horizon is only seven to ten miles, depending on the conditions. So it's probably a couple of miles. Everybody see them? Yeah. 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 Let's welcome their. That is such a beautiful color. So you'll never forget that color. Yeah, this is a major event. So we are grateful. So open your heart chakra and send them the beauty of humanity. And if you uh, can see what I'm doing, you can connect with your palms out like this and your third eye and your heart making like a tetrahedron radiating our pureness and love towards them. They emerge from the sky, but they're very, very close to the ocean. They're just hovering. They're not... Um, Whoever is just right in front of the yellow kind of blue jacket, with your heads... Is that me? No, no. Yeah, you just kind of go down. Okay, hold on. You should be filming. I am filming. Those in front, if you can get on your knees or sit on the ground and look in front of your chair, stay low. Thank you. Much the same altitude. So, pretty, pretty let's orange. invite them to come as close as they can. I need a time mark. Yeah, the time is 9 15. So, the mark time. I'm losing it. Oh, that's gone into the ocean. You see what it did? Uh, you serious? Okay, wow. there's still an object there. There we with the mind becoming, as it were, uh, pure and clear and empty of any distractions. And so then you're just there immersed in quiet mind without the perceptions of discrete objects of perception, whether it be thoughts, self, material, body, sounds, any of it. Now, all meditation techniques, if they are effective, are intended to allow the practitioner to experience the state of being awake within pure awareness without any perception of a relative, discrete perception meaning you're only aware of awareness and nothing else.